How's it going guys? If you did not see the last uh, part of this career mode, it was at Talladega. Yeah, before I go any further, make sure you go see that video. It was titled, This Championship is Rigged. I want to give as much uh, warning as possible because that was, I, and I think will be the most important video of this career uh, so far with only seven races to go. Um, so go check it out if you haven't already. If you guys have, stick around. And uh, here is the, the situation. We are uh, 186 points behind, should have been only 100, we should have been 100 points behind instead, it essentially doubles. Um, with 7 races left, you would need to average more than 30 points, you know, per, per, uh, uh, yeah, it's just, or, it's just, I just don't think it's possible. Um, with the way that Junior is running, um, I do not think it's possible, average finish of 5.8. We need a blown engine. We need something. Uh, like I said in the video that 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 other day, um, I could do that race a hundred times, and 99 times I'll win it. And we somehow found the one that we ended up finishing 26th. Like, think about all the different scenarios that could happen that you'd have to finish 26th at Talladega. Like, it's just. It's insanity. It's absolutely insanity. It's rigged. We're not meant to win it. It is what it is. I'm going to give my best shot here and just see if we could do anything and just, you know, see what happens. Nothing to build, nothing to repair. I want to give a shout out to all the Patreon members, as always, for, for supporting the channel. You guys are the absolute best. If I cannot bring you a championship, I apologize. I'm trying my hardest. I really am. But thanks to Ryan Newman and thanks to Ungodly Bad Luck, we've essentially lost out on... 170 points like i don't even like those two races is 170 points right there so it's just really uh, just i'm just ticked off i'm just not happy <laughs> like i'm really really annoyed um let's see what we could do it's kansas we're not gonna save our our stuff right now we need to go ahead and use chassis number 14 which is the best chassis we need to go ahead and use engine number 12 which is the best engine that we have and we have to go ahead and use body number 12, which is uh, the best body that we have. So car rating of 84, that's the highest we've had um, all season. Let's just lead the most laps. And for once in my life, please, can he not be on pole? That's all I ask, please. Hello and welcome to the Kansas Speedway for the running of the Banquet 400. Tell us a little bit about this track, Barney. This track is a one and a half mile trioval like Chicagoland and Las Vegas. Most of these drivers are still learning things about this track. We should see quite a show. Bobby Labonte has been working hard at qualifying all season, and it's really showing. Oh, yeah, and that makes it so much easier on race day also. When there isn't much traffic, it makes your race a lot less stressful as a driver. Ryan Newman won 2002 Rookie of the Year honors after an impressive sixth place finish in the points. That was a great rookie battle that came down to the last race of the season. This guy should have a long and successful cup career to look forward to. The 99 car is becoming an excellent friend on the track with the 48 car. A driver's attitude towards you can drastically change how he races you. And when a driver gets along well with you, just makes things a whole lot easier when you come across them on the racetrack. They're still going to block me for no reason. Is that eight car on pole? And the home of the brave. I don't see the eight car anywhere. I don't see him. I don't see him. I swear on my life he's on pole. I swear on my life he's on pole. Is he, is he really on pole again? Oh, my God. Oh, just end me. Just take that jet and, and fly it in my face. Just end me. Just end me right now. I give up. I give up. There's nothing I can do. I give up, guys. I give up. What can I do? What can I do? I, how, I give up. There's How many races is that in a row? I just don't I don't understand what, like, can nobody else qualify in a poll? Not Tony Stewart, not Jeff Gordon, not Jimmy Johnson, not Kurt Busch, not, nobody. Mark Martin, Ter Dale Jarrett. Can anybody else qualify on poll? No one? Like, is, is it just illegal? Do we have to give it to the Budweiser 8 car? Is it a fan vote or something? Like, hey, let me go ahead and just try to lead the most laps. We have a, this is the best chassis we've ever had. So, uh, it should be a good enough car to get, oh my God, that thing sticks. Holy hell. <laughs> it definitely sticks to say the least. Uh, let's go up there. Let's lead the most laps. Let's put Dale Jr. in the wall or something. I mean, that won't help either. Nothing will help. We're screwed. Uh, 
I'm just out of it. There's just nothing I, I, I just... I'm just... I'm mentally defeated. I am mentally just defeated. I... I I'm, I'm defeated. There's, there's nothing you can do. He qualifies on pole. Race after race after race after race after race after race after race. And in the one race where you're supposed to gain like... A hunt like 50 points on him the luck breaks to where he gets top five finish so genuinely impossible and that caution did nothing but hurt us because it just throws junior basically twice as far away from us since it's a single file restart we are five seconds behind him beautiful scenes beautiful scenes this is very sad times i just i i, I oh, oh what the heck and i have more damage i ran over the debris I ran over the debris and it gave me more damage. Oh wow, beautiful, beautiful. That's that's fantastic. That's absolutely wonderful. Uh, and Ashton Lewis is a minus 60 rival. Might as well just stay behind him and try to get that down to minus 58 before the caution guy. Yeah, no, William. Uh, great. Now my front end's even more damaged. Thank you to whoever decided to drop debris. It was, it was, it was. Thank you, thank you, Coy Gibbs. I appreciate that. And we come back down pit road, and Dale Jr. is continuing to lead the laps, and he's going to lead the most laps this race. He's going to get 10 bonus points, and we're going to cut the gap to 181, and then there's going to be six races left, and we have no shot whatsoever. Thank God it's over. Bye. Like we have no shit, no chance, no chance. It's over. It's over. I don't even want to look at my pit crew. That's why I'm in the cockpit view. I just want to look at the NASCAR official, looking over, hoping that he ends my life. I just don't want to... Can the NASCAR official give me a 55-year penalty? I, I, I'd appreciate that. Just make me send the pit stall for 55 years. But nope. Off we go. Another caution. More debris. I can't even make a lap. We're just letting Dale Jr. just lead more laps. What is going on? Oh, Lord have mercy. How many more debris cautions do we need? Why? What? Who? Did, did the entire field wreck under that one caution in the, at the beginning of the race? <laughs> are you serious more debris that we we haven't run a lap since oh my god more debris and they're just coming off right away uh i need to just keep an eye on and see if everyone's pitting here because i need to just be aware of the fuel situation is everybody pitting yes they are everyone's coming down pit road look at them all they're all coming down all right then i'm coming down too i'm gonna you know we all need fuel even though i ran half a lap i'm not making the same mistake twice we ran half a lap at talladega and next thing you know, I ended up finishing a 26th. So, not doing that again. Except, I don't need anything. But, I just I just want a splash. Just give me a splash. Uh, okay, whatever. Full tank. No, no tires. Just give me a tank of fuel. And get me at least to the top, like, 30, please. Can, can you get me to the top 30? That's all I ask. Come on, come on, come on. Just put a splash. I literally ran half a lap. All right, that's enough. That's enough. Just go, 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 go. Block everyone. Did I gain some jack position? Thank God. Okay, beautiful scenes. We have hope again. Lap 13, Dale Jr. still leading. But lap 13, P11, we got fuel, and it's fine. Let's all go. Passing around Kansas is so difficult. Car just gets really tight on exit, but we're side by side with Kurt Busch. We should be able to get it done. Jr. is still leading, and let me just get up to him as quick as possible. Don't block me. Of course you're going to block me. Why not? You M&M's fraud. Okay. Uh, let's go down here. You're gonna block me again, thank you. You're gonna still block me, you're gonna still block me. Block me for no reason. Block me, block me, block me. Really appreciate that. And then you're gonna stay right on my quarter panel where I'm not gonna be able to use all the track. And you're just gonna cost me more time. And I don't like you. Let me go. Let me go, let me go, let me go. Get the heck out of here, thank you very much. All right, let me get to that stupid eight car. Now we've gotten up to third. Yep, I brought, no, get the heck out of here. I'm just not dealing with your nonsense. Uh, still good. Okay. Yep, I'm driving very differently from how I've driven most of the season. I'm, I'm now just ticked off. That's essentially how I'm driving now. Uh, we need to get up to Junior in the next 11 laps. Really. Actually, less than that. He's led every single lap of this race. I need either Harvick to pass him or us to get him really quickly. With clean track, I should be able to get there. I just have been trying to pass other guys, and there's a huge gap behind us. I'm gonna, I just need to shove Junior in the wall or something. Like... That's what I want to do, and honestly, I'm thinking about doing it. I'm, I might just shove him into the wall. I'm really thinking about it. Harvick, please do not put up too much of a fight. That's all I ask. Just let me go. Oop. There we go. All right, Junior. Hello, my friend. Please turn. Please turn. Please turn. All right, there we go. Is he going to block? Yes. No, no, not really. All right, Junior. Leaders right in front of you. Let's try to race. 
Alright, that's not what I wanted to do. That is not what I wanted to do whatsoever. I'm just losing my head. I'm I'm just not in it. I'm making stupid mistakes. I, I just it, all I've done is damage my car even further. Okay, great job, me. I'm I'm an idiot. We really appreciate that. All right, Junior, still gonna block. Don't care. Get the heck out of my way. You? Okay, I'm not actually trying to slide up. I'm just getting tight. Nope. Yep, in the wall he goes. Give him, give him a little. Doop. There we go. Back into the wall. Okay. Now I'm gonna go try and win the race. <laughs> I just put him in the wall a few times, knocked him back. He's still in third. He's still going to finish in second, most likely. It's not going to make any difference whatsoever. I really just hurt my race more than anything, but hey. I mean, I got to do something to get this guy to... Like, I have to do something to get him off pole position every single time. Like, for the Lord. I mean, and probably Karma's going to hit me anyways. I can't turn my car. I, my car is not turning. <sighs> okay, just focus, just focus, just focus, 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 focus. Focus, 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 focus. Just stop. Back on track. Get back on track, Melito. Get back on track. What is wrong with you? All right. Yeah, my right front's wearing. Yeah, I know. I'm, my brain is wearing down at the moment. I'm not there mentally. Oh my god, I can't get this thing to turn. Coming out of turn four, man. Oh lord, it's just getting so tight. 3.1 seconds behind Kevin Harvick. I'm not even gonna win this race at this rate. I mean, I, I the car, the car is damaged, and that's on me. I made stupid mistakes all race, and just uh. Okay, what's the fuel mileage? I don't even know the fuel mileage. I'm halfway on fuel, but I don't know exactly what lap I need to get to in order to make it. I have absolutely no idea, so that's also not good to know. Uh, this damage is definitely affecting me. Right rear damage, right side damage, right front damage, right middle damage, left front damage. It's just there's a lot of damage, and I just can't get this car to turn anymore, and now I don't know when to pit. Did we restart lap 14? Where's lap 10? Where's lap 14? I don't even know. Ah, oh, damn it. Because that means I can't short pick, because now I just don't know if I can make it on fuel or not. I'm back into it. I'm getting back into a little bit of a rhythm, even with the damage on the car. Definitely slowed down the car a lot, but I'm trying as hard as I can to catch Harvick. I need to catch Harvick. I've kind of given up on leading the most laps. What I need to do is lead a lap. <laughs> and right now, we need to catch Harvick to do that, and that would essentially get, get us to win the race. It's 10 points right there if we can win the race and lead a lap so i'm trying oh, this car sucks right now i can't get on the bottom of this track man come on please no 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 Be careful. <sighs> 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 It's just falling apart. <laughs> Everything is just falling apart. Oh, Lord have mercy. I don't know if that caution's a bad thing, to be honest. Uh, I'm just going to come down pit road. I think everyone's going to come down pit road. I don't know if we can make it on fuel, but whatever. Oh, no one's pitting. Why is nobody pitting? Stupid of you guys. Maybe that caution was a good thing. I just need to refocus. I just need to refocus. Refocus, 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 refocus. All right, we still have a chance at this championship. Dale Jr. is running like fifth. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just, just knock yourself into it, man. All right. And plus, this is going to give us the lead. We're going to be able to lead some laps because no one else pitted for whatever reason. And we'll see what happens from there. Maybe, you know, uh, I don't know. I don't know what this, the, the scenario is. If they can go a few more laps and make it to the end, could I have done the same thing? Can I make it from here? I don't know. I don't know. But, well, you know, let's just Looks focus. Like Yep, only car on pit road. Yep, thank you. Appreciate that. All right. Um, let's see what happens. I'm pretty sure I can't go 29 laps on fuel. Pretty sure of that. But we'll see what happens. Dale Jarrett and Bobby Labonte are out of the race. I wonder what happened there. And people are pitting. I had to... Whoa, that was close. I had to get out of the way before that was going to be really bad. Okay, well, they're pitting the lap after. Can I make it on fuel? I don't know, but we just got to keep going. Jack Sprague, notoriously, will always block no matter what. So let's get around him. All right, and let's just keep an eye on these guys coming down pit road. So let's just go to the high side. Greg Biffle's going to block. Just keep blocking me. Just keep pissing me off, everyone. Really appreciate that. All right, everyone, just go down pit road. Just get the heck out of here. Go down pit road. Go down pit road. Go down pit road. Thank you very much. Robbie Gordon, get the hell out of here. Thank you very much. Go, go, go. Everyone go. Oh, there's Dell Jr. He's a lap down now. <laughs> Can I just spin the car out? <laughs> Keep him a lap down. Uh, I, re I really wish I could. 
Can someone just throw a debris caution out now? I mean, you guys always get set, give me debris cautions. Why can't you give Junior a bad luck debris caution? That'd be fantastic. I mean, you want anyone want to do it right now? I mean, he's a lap down. Anyone want to do it? Yeah, probably not. We have the whole field one lap down. So, uh, should I just spin the car out? It doesn't matter. Junior's still running fourth. It really doesn't matter. I just need to run really fast laps. That's what I have to do right now. Just run fast laps, take a splash of fuel, see where it puts us. That's that's all I can do. And let's let's see what happens there. I'm gonna just really try to concentrate on on these fast laps and we'll see what happens. We're coming to around twenty laps to go. And hey, a caution might come out naturally and that'll be fine. But at the moment, I mean it's still not enough. Junior's running fourth. We're first. It's not enough, like in terms of the gap in points. So uh yeah. We'll just let's see how it goes. I don't have a differential on the gap back to Kevin Harvick. I just I can barely see him in the mirror, but I think we're maintaining the lead really well right now. So that's that's the good news. Dale Jr.'s falling back to fifth. That's also the good news. Um so I just gotta keep going. So we're halfway okay, we're definitely not making it then. So we restarted lap thirty seven. We got to lap fifty. Yeah, we're we're short by about three to four laps. So, uh, yeah, we'll just take a splash of fuel, and that'll get us to the finish, if, if my calculations are right. Lap 60, we are very low on fuel. Uh, 2.5 gallons left, and we've lost a little bit of our gap to the leader. The leader is right there behind us, but it's not Kevin Harvick. It is Ricky Rudd who is leading the race. Junior is not in the top five, according to the leaderboard. I think Gordon is still in fifth. Tony Stewart's in fourth. And, nope. Gordon's in third, Car Kevin Harvick's in fourth, and Tony Stewart is in fifth. But I do not see an eight car. That's what matters. Now, can we win this race? Well, we've definitely lost time to the leader uh, over the course of this run that we've been on. It's all about how quickly does a splash of fuel get you in and out of pit road. So that's that's the situation. I don't exactly know what's going to happen. We can't make it uh, 1.5. Yeah, we cannot make it on fuel. And to be honest, I feel like some guys can't make it on fuel. I don't know if everyone can. That feels, I don't, I mean, I'm nowhere close. And uh, all the guys behind still have basically six laps to go. Remember, we are, we just crossed the line for five to go. And they only, uh, some of them, a lot of them only pitted a lap after us. So, or after we come down, came down pit road, on, came, uh, out, I can't speak, came down pit road under caution. Um, I'm going to pit this time by, so box, box, loose, box, box, box. Just going to take it nice and easy. Try to slow up Ricky Rudd if I can, just a little bit. There we go. All right. 70 miles per hour. I could have been way more aggressive, but whatever. 5.5 uh, and done. I'm just looking there into turn one, going through the middle of turn one. Pretty really close. I have a feeling we should be in the lead. I mean, right? Because as a splash of fuel is basically seven seconds less than a normal stop. Actually, that was what? That was 4.5. No, that was easy. We're going to be in the lead. Oh, why was I worrying so much? We're clearly in the lead. Oh, beautiful scenes. Wonderful. Okay, let me just whoop, go right up there. There we go. All right. What's the, uh, I still don't see the eight car in the top five. How has this worked out? <laughs> oh, my Lord. And we might lead the most laps. I don't know if we will or not, but we might lead the most laps too. <laughs> we have a 6.2 second lead with only three to go. And my tires are very worn, but I don't have to push it. So, alrighty. Uh, I'm not going to check the race stats to see if we've led the most laps or not. I don't, I don't want to know until after the race. Let's just get this thing done. Final time through three and four in this absolutely chaotic race. Almost spun it as well. I'm not even trying to push it. I'm just trying to coast. Uh, but we are going to win, and Dale Jr. is not going to finish in the top five. So that's one of the best races we've had in a while, even though it does not feel like it. That felt like an awful race by us. But, hey, we won. I'm not celebrating. I uh, where's Junior? Seventh. Dale Junior finishing seventh. Okay. All right. Let's see the points. No celebrations. We do not care. Laps led twenty five. Dale Junior twenty two. Oh, thank God. <laughs> okay. He got one hundred and fifty one points. One forty six plus five. We got one eighty five. So that is thirty four points. That is what we needed. We're back in it, guys. Back in it. <laughs> but we had to do some ridiculous things just to get a. Oh, that's nice. Why did I unlock Richard Petty? I appreciate that, though.
Thank you. Uh, <laughs> we unlocked Richard Petty. That's that's very cool. Um, but let's uh, focus on the championship. Let me go to the standings. I just want to see the th minus 34 from 186. What is that? We're at like 152 or something like that. Is that is that what we're at? Uh, let's see. 152. Dale Jarrett had a DNF, so he's out of it. 260. Um, Tony Sturz down to 164. So, okay. We gained for so 186 down to 152. We have six races to go. Essentially, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150. That's five races. So, in order for us to win the championship, we just have to aim for that 30 points per race. Or, something happens in a race, and we're able to get 70 in a race. That is what we need. We just, just need one race where Junior finishes. I'm not even asking for too much. One race where Junior finishes 15th. That's all I need. That's all I need. Just one race. And we'll be able to do it. Uh, and, and until then, we have to win every single one. Because that, that Talladega race is still hurting me to my core. That we did not... I mean, we would be a championship favorite right now if we were able to win Talladega. But no, because, you know, the game decided to say F you. Um, and, I mean, look look at the win streak that we were on. Win, 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 win. Talladega comes up. Oh, we're supposed to win that. No, no, no. You don't win that. And then we win Kansas. We have to win Lowe's. We ha and Mar Martinsville's the one that I have a feeling something could happen to Junior. Because... I'm going to be aggressive that race. Atlanta, we always suck at Atlanta. I have to have the chassis ready for that one as well. So we'll try to time the chassis to be the, the, the chassis we just used. We might not use it at Lowe's and save it for Martinsville and, and, and something like that. I don't, I don't really know what we're going to do there, but we have to uh, figure it out there because that chassis is the best chassis that we have. 8580. I mean, it's it's still better than should we repair it now in times for in time for Atlanta and, and use Maybe chassis number 12 for Lowe's and then use uh, 13 for Martinsville. That could be something we do. Um, I, I, and to be honest, that's actually what I want. I, I need this chassis for Atlanta because Atlanta, we suck. So we need it for Atlanta. I think 13 will be good enough for Martinsville. So let's go ahead and use this one for Atlanta. So it's going to repair that one of 491. Uh, that will be ready by the time we race at Atlanta. Um, and then we'll use, yeah, we'll use uh, this one for Lowe's. We'll use this one for uh, Martinsville and have chassis number 14 ready for Atlanta. And maybe just use it for the rest of the season there. Atlanta, Phoenix, everything else right through there. Um, take care take care of yourselves, guys. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not already. Subscribe if you're new. Subscribe to the second channel as well. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you're not already. All the links are in the description down below. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.